MK Mobile has a lot going on right now. Let's break this down. So the Mortal Kombat Halloween update trailer has dropped and we need to react to it because it is crazy. I'm just going to react. All right. I'm not going to talk at all. We're just going to react and then we'll have our thoughts after the reaction. Let's start. Nightmare character is so bad. Oh my god. It's beautiful. It's perfect. Damn, she's fast. Feel the pain. An actual attacker, Melina. <laughs> Die Yo, the cameo system's actually oh, like God. with random characters. It's not even. It could just be anybody. Dude, Scarlet Friendship. And Noob Cybot. This one's smooth. A new stage? Okay, you got the Melina for- oh, oh my god. Oh, the brutality. Wait a minute! Darkest Noob Saibot Comet Pass? A diamond character getting a Comet Pass. They're redoing Tower of War? Okay. 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 There's a lot to unpack here. Okay. October 9th, that is in five days. What did that account name say? Evil made me. Imagine classic Liu Kang at fusion level 15, but we're gonna break some stuff down here because this is gonna be a lot to have to uh, go over. So firstly, Darkest Night Noob Saibot. What's my thoughts? I'm gonna mute it because I'm gonna be talking over this thing. But um, I, I think it, it suits Mortal Kombat perfectly. I actually wanted a Batman Who Laughs Noob Saibot a long time ago, but I thought we missed our chance after uh, Lizard Noob Saibot was added. But we needed something dark or nightmare themed, and this is fine. Sure, it's not a nightmare character, and I'm a little sad by that, and especially because it's not Ghostface, but this character is frightening enough, and it's coming out at the perfect time. So I, I have no complaints. I wonder what that is. That's a new effect. That's definitely not something we've had before. Uh, and then there's the new passive button for uh, Darkest Noob Saibot, which Master of Puppets. Okay, so it, he can clone, turn into another character, basically just like Circle Shadow Katana, but it looks cooler. And then MK1 Melina. God damn. Okay, my one gripe here. Why is she so pale? You guys, look at her skin tone on the character icon and then look at her in game. And look at Kenshi. Why is Kenshi so tan? Why is Melina so pale? Why do you, why are her characters so inconsistently like pale and tan? I, I don't know why you guys keep doing that, but there's a, that's a suggestive icon. There is literally no room anymore. I mean, it's just impossible. There's nothing that could go here in the center. Um, the stats have been put in the corner. Melina is fast and she's constantly doing dashes. Her combos just look really enjoyable. I don't know if I like this one though. This one seems like it might leave you vulnerable if the character's actually attacking because they never make the characters attack during the trailers. But cameos, the, that's probably the most interesting part of this update is cameos. You see it's a button up here instead of down here and you just click on it and whatever you did special attack wise is I think what the cameo comes in and does for you. I like how you just, you just stand aside and actually takes advantage of this whole 2D 
aspect of, our, of, of the game. It ain't no 2D game. Oh my god, everything just seems so vibrant. And then Scarlet's Friendship. I'm actually really happy about this one. I, To be honest with you guys, I've never seen Scarlet's Friendship. This is my first time seeing it. It's kind of cute. It's cute. It's cute for my girl Scarlet. And the noob side bot. I mean, I just think his is so smooth. So buttery smooth. New stage though. This is hopefully the start of several new stages. But what do I think about this one in particular? Should have they started with this stage? And the answer to that is... I got no gripes with it. It is the first stage we saw in MK1 teasers. So go ahead. And the detail on this looks so much better than the other stages. The only complaint I have is that it's really bright. I think they should have toned it down in brightness just a tiny bit and just like made it look more MKX-ish. But um, the detail on here, you can definitely tell it comes from MK1 just based on that just incredible yeah spawn performs his x-ray because of the cameo attack a fusion 15 diamond is going to absolutely change the way that we recommend um new players start this game okay and lastly tower of horror looks all different the entirety of the equipment has been updated because it was sh tower four was the first ever tower in mk mobile so you know, Mortal Kombat got it wrong a few times before they got it right. And they're going back and correcting that for all players. Uh, Tower 200 is probably going to be hell now. Actual hell. And I don't mean nightmare hell. I mean actual hell. If you look at Man's video, he actually got early access to view concepts on the new mechanisms in the game. Because they just give it to um, ambassadors. I'm no ambassador, so I didn't get those pictures, but I was having a look at his video and there's a few things to note that I can share with you guys. Uh, Spawn's getting a buff, which is, well, <laughs> we saw that one coming. Cameos are a card you have to collect. I think you can get them from game modes. So we're going to see how that ends up uh, rolling out. So Cold Tower is going to return, but it's going to be with uh, a new rework. It probably gonna be more difficult. And lastly, Elder Wind Tower will be returning. And if you think firing the entire mobile team made an impact on MK Mobile, no, it did not. Now, keep in mind, we don't know how much in advance the mobile team got to work on updates before they all got laid off, supposedly. What if all this stuff is what they worked on? Not sure, but I'm, I'm guessing that this is brand new and that this was just worked on recently. And it, it's not that difficult. This game, it's just not a whole lot of maintenance to keep up with because every update is like four months. So the developers have plenty of time to, um, you know, so the developers have plenty of time to just throw a new skin in there. Uh, guys, I can't be more content. We have to actually see what happens with this update, but I'm looking forward to it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, make sure to like and subscribe if you are new. And yeah, peace out.